I don't think I'll go to uh, Mamin Prochot right now because that's eight kilometers. And uh, I'm just gonna make a circle of like five kilometers through the hills and come back. Quite nice. See the landscape. That's actually pretty. I like it. Nice and green. Fresh air. Just uh, time to explore. Right, so I found the trail going up a bit into the Sretna Gora. The middle forest, which is uh, between the Staropranina and the Rilla Mountains. From north to south, the Sretnogra, uh, the middle forest, is, uh, as the name says, in the middle. So it's a bit hilly, but not too steep. Like it's not popular at all for tourism, except for the little town of uh, Koprivsica and a few other places where actually there's a lot of history for Bulgaria, especially the national uprising against uh, the Ottomans. A lot of that was, uh, came from places as uh, Panegurishte, Koprivsica, Oboriste even. All little towns that had very important committees and uh, heroes who fought for the country and even now the area is basically forgotten because essentially there's nothing much except forest but it's pretty cool I must say just a bit muddy it's a pretty uh, big even intimidating forest lots of big trees and, uh, and you just see how tall it is, how huge. Mm. There's just nobody here. It's a bit creepy even. But uh, I'm just gonna finish the hike. We'll see what's up there. Probably nothing and go back. But, uh, it's kind of nice, relaxing. Get in some exercise. And... Yeah something to do after boxing class even I could have stayed at home relaxed it just felt like doing some little adventure it could probably get quite stormy here as you can see a lot of trees have fallen even all the way with the roots and there's the power of nature here very big forest now you can walk forever here all right so I got off the map the map's not completely correct so I turned around it was a bit muddy and all I don't have too much time so I'm just gonna walk back see what else is out here probably nothing but uh, oh, it was a little mountain walk and we'll see all right, back in the village. There's absolutely nothing to do, so... Uh, at least I saw this little chapel here. To check this out. And have like an hour before uh, the train comes. Let's look here. It's a chapel. Rajasthu. Bogodic. Right, it's not very old. That's really the place to sit. Is this for brewing rakia or just for rainwater? I don't know. Do I recommend coming to Nemirovo? Not quite because uh, perhaps I should have crossed the railway uh, or the highway, I mean, to go up there because I learned a lesson. I went into the forest there. And the sun was back behind the mountain and in the meantime so it got kind of dark 
in the meantime the sun is still out there uh, so if you go hike in the afternoon always choose the part that catches the last sunlight and not where it goes behind the mountain it's a very obvious thing but i didn't think of it so uh for next time all right sitting down by the sunset have an hour for the train gonna have some tea now that i made up nice and hot there you go that's what it's all about right oh, delicious yeah there was nothing to do here i will not come back like the nature is a little rough there's no trails barely and uh i would say that 40 Sretna Gora and also the Itimanska Sretna Gora you should first of all not go alone because it's kind of the trails are not so there's no markings nothing you really go bush bush but it would be cool to do a tour of the abandoned villages probably that are out here uh, do that by car probably with a friend or something make it a sort of forest safari but otherwise for hiking it is not quite my thing although I'm sure there is a, there is some better parts I much prefer the Isker region north of uh, Sofia for hiking it is actually a lot more accessible more adventurous and uh, it has a different atmosphere even here it was a bit of a mystical atmosphere not mystical in the sense but a bit of a dark sense to the Sretnagora. it has a bit of a dark uh, character not shady but dark mystical i would say it doesn't feel as warm as the other parts of bulgaria do uh, the, the isker region feels a bit rough as well but at least it is more open to explore i think the i don't know the mystical part perhaps uh, comes from its history as well I have no idea there's been a ton of dark history here a very tough life so that might have something to do with it that you sense that a little but I don't know either way it was a pretty cool afternoon I did catch some sun so that's what it's all about I did chill out and relax and uh, you know I enjoyed it after all Да си видял две големи кучета? Не съм, не съм. Изобщо. Оф. Избягаха ли? Ами, като речат, че искат да ващат гората и прескачат мрежата и заминават. Не съм. И там съм бил от другата страна, не съм видял нищо. Е, добре, че не си, че може да се оплашиш, че те са големи. Иначе не са... Не са агресивни, защото ама са големи. Нямам никаква идея, съжалявам. Аз ще бъдам да ги потърпи. Успех! Hello. Hi, sweetie. Don't worry. Sweet dog. So, I am back at the creepy station of Nemirovo. I have half an hour to wait for the uh, train and hopefully it will come and then i'll go home it was kind of a strange day not really the hike i was expecting but i did actually walk a lot and did pack in some exercise and i always want to go here because i like the building i thought maybe the area would be cool like it's been interesting but i wouldn't go back unless it was uh 
something I wanted to see, so whatever. Now again, next to the station of Nemirovo is uh, this building, which probably had station workers living here, it's most likely, when railways were still a big thing in Bulgaria. Now, uh, this is also abandoned, obviously, and you can see the building is completely stripped even. See the doors are taken out, everything, the windows, window frames, when, ah, uh, the door is still there. But you can go in, I'm not going to, there's nothing left to see inside anyway. But yeah, oh, it's kind of curious that they left the door, that's not very common, because wood is typically ta taken out. They're interesting, see? So more about the station, now that I have a half an hour left anyway. Here it says Slujeben Vchot, which is a worker entrance. Vchot, Zavrinshnitsa, Zavrinen. Means that, uh, let's say, unauthorized people cannot enter or access the building. And if we look inside, we, st we still see the control board of the, the train C over there. So this was actually where the workers let me work around this. We're sitting from where they could uh, monitor when the train arrives. You see they have nice wooden doors and whatever. Uh, that's where they were sitting for many, many years. Uh, these stickers are all security stickers just to warn you don't go in. But you can't because it's been locked pretty well. And they do obviously, well, the control board, they didn't take it out. But they don't... Uh, yeah, they, they want to keep it locked just in case. Like, uh, it's not quite common to see an abandoned station with a control board still inside. Typically it's taken out, stripped or whatever, but here apparently even that wasn't worth the cost. So the whole thing is left to, uh, you know, to the devils, let's say. And here we are back down. Just taking a picture of this. Now it is possible to go inside here in the basement, but I'm not going to because uh, I don't want to. I've had my urban exploring days, I'm not doing that anymore. I don't go inside buildings. Uh, I could possibly see the control board, but uh, I don't care to. I'm not going to the dark basement, not doing building entrance anymore. If that's disappointing, I'm sorry, but uh, not doing it. There is even nowhere to sit, unfortunately. It is just, uh, it's a bit sad if you do a day trip like this in an environment that could be popular for day trips, like there could be some nice walking trails, some nice cafes, whatever. But it is just not on the map, see what I mean? It is just not a thing. It doesn't happen. And the whole thing is just, there's, what hurts me a lot is to see the enormous potential. Like if we had such a hilly landscape in my country, it would be quite frequently visited I'm sure but here uh, even at an hour from Sofia it is just not on any inside let's say it is a uh, forgotten a forgotten area of a forgotten country which is uh, hurts me a lot honestly but what can I do at least I've seen it now I wanted to check out this place the station so now I've done that yeah, it was worth it there's a lamp, there's a working lamp at the station of Nemirovo. Now that is uh, something at least. And here's the train. And it is on time. Wonderful. Didn't expect it. But uh, gonna hop on. So bye bye Nemirovo. I'm gonna go back to Sofia.